this stuff. I do. Um, so Tagatose Toast is a very interesting sweetener. It is um, structurally, it's it's pretty much fructose. It is very chemically very similar to fructose, and as you can see, um, it's very fine, just like sugar. It is indistinguishable indistinguishable from sugar by taste and texture. I'm actually going to go out and let me say it's better than sugar because there are these rich caramel notes in Tagatose. It's almost like brown sugar. It's almost like it's been slightly caramelized. It's so delicious and it's so good in baked goods. I just, this is, this is a slam dunk as far as taste and texture goes. If you're looking for sugar, this is it. Chemically, it pretty much is sugar. It does uh, measure the same cup for cup for, with sugar. It has the exact same sweetness. Um, I've heard that it's like 97% as sweet as sugar. This is just as sweet as sugar. It's just as sweet as sugar. And I'm gonna go out and let me say it's just as sweet as CNH sugar. <laughs> Remember earlier in the video I said that store-bought um, sugar is sometimes is not as sweet as like CNH or Domino? This is. This is just as sweet. Can you tell I love the stuff? I love the stuff, but I can't eat it. And we're going to get into that. But I'm going to go through the pros list again. Uh, so Tagatose is a sweetener. Um, it's, it's considered a sugar. And it's found in dairy products. And it's similar in texture to table sugar. So it's very close to lactose sugar and fructose, chemically. Um, another pro is that it is only 4 calories and 4 carbs per teaspoon. And so that's about 38% um, the calorie, fewer calories than sugar. Sugar has 16, and tagatose has about four. So that's pretty good. Um, it is very friendly for your teeth. It discourages um, dental decay. It's very similar to xylitol. Erythritol and anulin are both very good for your teeth because it does not contribute to decay but tagatose and xylitol both discourage decay in your teeth which is a very very good thing there's a difference um so tagatose is an interesting sugar because it was originally developed and tested as a diabetic drug i don't really want to get into it because there are tons of studies out there on tagatose as a diabetic drug but just know that it was um, originally used and tested as a diabetic drug and then they kind of discovered that hey this is very similar to sugar so let's give it a shot um, and it also another pro is that it has the same browning properties as sugar I think that it browns even better than sugar I think that if you made a, a pot of caramel with both sugar and with tagatose the tagatose is going to taste better one thing to note is not the same chemically as sugar, even though they're very similar in a lot of ways. So tagatose actually has it, the, the browning properties are more intense. So you do need to bake your baked goods at a lower baking level. So if you would do 350 normally, you should be baking at 325 with tagatose because it does brown very quickly. And that can change your you know texture and the look of your baked goods. But it does, it makes excellent caramel sauce. Now we're going to get into cons. And you're going to find out why as much as I love tag toast, I do not consume it on a daily basis. I'm, I'm hoping that will change now. The reason why it hasn't caught on in the mainstream is because there are some pretty intense gastric distress symptoms when tag toast is, in, cons is consumed in any quantity. So... For if you have a teaspoon of this in your coffee, you will probably feel it. Um, some people, according to the studies, can build a tolerance to tagatose over time. Um, some people were never able to build um, a, a tolerance to it. But yet it ferments terribly in the colon, so it causes a lot of issues. Um, Personally, for me, I did experience very, very, very intolerant issues when I consumed tagatose. I will say this. 
At the time, I was experimenting with tagatos. I was also eating xylitol. And I did notice that xylitol and tagatos together was disastrous. When I had tagatos on its own, it was okay. Um, I think that I could have definitely built up a tolerance to tagatos over time. At the time, however, tagatos was not widely available and it really still isn't. But at the time, it was very difficult to find. And there was only one company selling it directly from our website, New Naturals. They were the only ones selling Tagatos. So I kind of had to make a decision. Do I want to stop using my Xylitol? And at the time I was low carb, so the calories weren't as important to me. Do I want to stop using the Xylitol and fully embrace Tagatos knowing that the time might come where I won't be able to buy this anymore? And sure enough, New Naturals stopped selling the Tactos. And the company that made, the factory that made Tactos, they shut down. And New Naturals couldn't find another distributor. So we weren't able to find Tactos anywhere for about a year. So if you did build a penny tolerance to Tactos in that time, you would lose it because you couldn't buy it. So I kind of gave up on Tactos. And then all of a sudden, the factories were back up and running again. And not only did New Naturals um, resume selling Tacitos, but so did Sensato, which is a company that sells almost exclusively on nutrition. But you can buy them off of Amazon as well. So that is the Tacitos story. Um, I'm actually going to start using Tacitos again because it seems like it's going to stick around for good now. Um, there is a company, Sucrin, and they actually sell a Tagatose blend, and that's a, a blend of Tagatose, Anulin, uh, Sucralose, which is Splenda, and I think Erythritol. I'm, I'm not sure, but they it's a it's a blend with Tagatose in it, and it's supposedly delicious, and it's been around for years. So if you know, for some reason, I can't get a hold of Tagatose after I've built up a tolerance. I'll probably switch over to Tagatees. I would, I would recommend everyone just, just try this and see if you can swing it. If you can tolerate Tagatose, this is going to be one of the best sweeteners for you. It's a prebiotic. It, um, you know, it can, it can possibly help blood sugar stabilization. I don't know. I, I wouldn't recommend it for that, but it, that might be a bonus. Um, it's kind to your teeth. It's low calorie. It's low carb. It tastes like sugar. It has the browning effects of sugar. Just don't serve it to guests. <laughs> Keep it for yourself. Don't serve this to guests. Uh, the price is cost prohibitive. It's not as expensive as in Newland, but it is pretty pricey and there is little availability for it. I've never seen it sold in stores. Um, and I'm checking here. It ha is going for $11.99 a pound. This is your one pound bag. So this is $12 a pound on nutrition. Um, New Naturals is selling it on Amazon for $19.49 a pound. So $20 for a pound of this on Amazon. That's probably including shipping. Um, it's $15.59 on iHerb. The same one, New Naturals. I don't know if that is including shipping or not. And then it's $13.99 a pound for the Sucrin Tagatees. That's the Tagatose blend. <clears throat> oh, I have it here. Um, it has Tagatose, Isomalt, Inulin, and Sucralose. Isomalt, I actually have a bag. It's another sugar substitute. It provides bulk. It's what they use for lollipops and to make that kind of really pretty ribbon candy. Uh, it's lower in, sh in carbs and it's lower in calories than regular sugar, which is why it's used a lot in, and it provides the same structural kind of um, properties that sugar provides in baked goods. They provide the bulk but not the sweetness. So that's a little bit about isomod. I hadn't planned to get into that, but <laughs> you see what that is. And that's pretty cheap as well. You can find that on Amazon or Nutrition if you want to experiment with that.